Hey everybody and welcome back to PE Design 10. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to be working on some cool lettering designs. You may have seen the other ones that I did with fish and that I did it in Embered and I did it in Hatch 2.0. And this one is the same premise, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. Let's work with what we've got inside the program and what we have inside this program are some cool shapes. So I thought, hey, let's kick it up a little bit for P T Team PE Design 10 and let's do a leaf. So let's draw it out, hold down the shift key because we want enough room for the lettering and let go. So for this one, I want it to be just an outline. So let's make this just a running stitch. And then what I wanna do is just straighten it up. So just to make it easier for me to do it. Now let's look at the size. It's a little bit small so we can make it bigger. We don't want it too much bigger, however. So, okay, we could change the hoop to a four by four and put a grid on and that might help. But this is, you know, around one by two. That is still way too small. So let's make it a little bit bigger. We want it kind of like two, two-ish two and a half, two-ish. We gotta make sure that we have room for the words. So, okay, let's start on the words. And we are going to type the word fall, F-A-L-L. -L. And you can do it upper and lower case. You can do fancy lettering if you want. Sky's the limit on it. Now, what I want to do, we're going to do this just a little bit differently because I thought it worked out really well. So what I want to do here is instead of manipulating the letters too much, that we're going to just use them as a backdrop. And this may or may not be easy depending on what kind of letters you have, but I thought, hey, what the heck, let's try it. And then we can add more stuff to it or not, or we can, we can figure it out. So let's give this a go here. And I'm just gonna do it really quickly. So I picked a closed shape and we have all of a sudden an F. And that's perfect. So we don't want, um, we want it filled. I always forget to do this first, but that's okay. That's what we want for our F. I'll have to go back. So for this one, the A, we're going to do the same thing. And this is just a different way of doing it. Instead of l using lettering, you can use files that you have. Now, you can't use stitch files for it, but you can use stitch files as a backdrop because we are going to be manipulating these letters and we stitch files is it's just not going to work for it so i want to make these really groovy too so here press enter now we have everything go back to our select key now i want to go back to this one because i didn't quite do it right oh it's up here so we want it filled and we don't want a running stitch. So I kind of did it backwards. So now we can select the pink and we can get rid of it because we don't need you anymore, pink. Um, you were just a handy backdrop, so let's delete. Now we have something we can work with. Now the only thing I see here that I missed is the inside of an A. I completely missed that, so let's go ahead and do that. Pick the tool, closed tool, and we're just going to do a triangle. I think that looks good. Uh, we don't want a fill stitch, but it's okay, we can fix that. So not sewn, and we want a running stitch, and that works. Let's go back to our select tool. No, I did it wrong again. Hmm, did I not have it selected? Maybe I'm just getting used to it. So let's do that again, running stitch, there we go. Now we select that one and we are gonna select this one. So we want both selected, modify, overlap, set hole sewing. And voila, we have our A. Now let's get to the fun stuff. So now that we have just flat stitches and I'm kind of planning on making this, you know, quite big, so let's go to our node mode. And this is pretty small right now. So we have a lot of freedom 
to move stuff around because we don't have to worry about stitches. Let's zoom in there just a little bit and make it a little bit better. There, now I can see what I'm doing. So let's go back to our select tool. I was missing it because I couldn't see the nodes. And I think this is gonna look fantastic. We have trims and we don't need trims, so we will be working on that later. Now, I don't know why it's not picking up this one. All right, let's move on. Let's move to this one. I thought this would be cool. Now, I think for here that I do want to put in a satin stitch here for the end of the leaf. I just thought that would look really cool. Now, let's zoom in just a little bit more because I'm missing, I'm missing this stitch here. So try not to get frustrated if you miss pulling up a node like I am because you can figure it out and I'm pulling on the wrong one it is right here so sometimes zooming in will help you fix that just the way I did I was for some reason thinking it was in one space and it wasn't so okay let's uh, zoom back out probably zoom back out because we need to see. Now, I like how that F came along. I like it a lot. Shall we go to the true view or the realistic view? Not that one. How about that one? There we go. See, I like it. I am going to change the angle on it and because I think it would be better. Now, you can change everything that you want about this. So you can change maybe like this. Just make sure again that you can still read that it's an F. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with the A and let's move it all around. And I'm going to change the angle, but on this one, I think I might change the stitch. So that's looking pretty good. I may go back. Let's try something different. I may go back here. Where's my undo? There's my undo. Let's move all that back and let's do something a little different because I noticed the one part of the A isn't getting stretched out the way I want. So let's make it big first. See, that works better. Okay, so let's make it fit first. And this one, I'm going to make it a little bit wider so it fits in a little bit better and fills up the space. So let's do it about there because we don't want to go outside. And then that's pretty good. I think that is going to fill it up nicely. So now let's go and edit our nodes. And this will be, you know, quick. It's easy to do. We're going to bring the ends of the A down here. And that's all we have to do for our A. I think our A looks fantastic. Change the angle. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Let's do the same thing. So let's adjust the L first and then get down to business on it. So I'm going to do the L here. Now, I wonder if we want to rotate this a little bit just so it matches up with the A a little bit. I kind of like that much better. So again, uh, remember to always play with it to make it look a little bit better. So now just adjust the nodes and you guys can have lots of fun making letters fit into what you want. I think it's great. If you don't like the L on that angle, then you can simply change it. I think I'm going to be really picky and move that one up a little bit. Yep, I actually really like how that turned out. That's fantastic. Now this L, I think I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to turn it and I think maybe a little bit this way, but you can see how easy it is if you just go ahead and trace your letters. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it. I've done other videos on it. So if you want to, you know, try it different ways, you can check out the other videos and other software. But f I thought this would be really fun. So I'm going to take this out all the way over into the corner. And I thought that would be really neat how to do it. And we're going to bring this down and we're going to have to add a node in there and pull it up a little bit so it follows closer to the shape of the leaf. And this one too, we're going to bring this one up, up a little bit more up and still try to keep our line, although it's gone a little bit off, but I think it looks better. I think that really looks better. I'm going to change this one to a curve 
And yep, there we go. That's the little piece that I needed for there. So look, that is what we have so far. What do you guys think? I think that looks fantastic. You could also put bigger words in there and do leaf. And like I said, you could color this in. You could even, let's see how this looks. Let's try putting just instead of stretching out the F, which you could easily do. Let's put in another piece here and see how it looks. How about we fill that guy in? Again, with the rhythm of the software. I, I kind of like it with the outline. So now we have a word that is in the shape of a leaf and I love it, I love it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tweak it up a little bit. I see just as I step back a little mistake there that would look way better if the L was in a bit more. You can add outlines, you can change colors. You could even do this lettering bigger in applique and make a really really cute applique design so thanks everyone for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel tell everyone how much fun we are having with embroidery like this video to let me know you want more fun videos just like this and i'll see you guys in the next video bye